Middle Eastern and Asian Influence on European Fashion, Part 1. So in the 3rd century, the Roman Empire was on the decline. Caravan trades brought goods from the East, including silk. Byzantine monks stole Chinese silkworms and set up their own silk industry. Europeans were fascinated by the colors, the textures, the prints that were coming from the East, even though they called people from that part of the world barbarians. In 333, Constantine issued an edict that favored cloth that was dyed in purple or brocaded in gold. This became the color associated with royalty. Costume and ornaments came from the East. Trousers and tunics were borrowed from the tribal nomads of Central Asia. Soft boots, collars, and the loose caftan were borrowed from the Persians. In fact, most of the styles adopted by the Byzantine Imperials were borrowed from the Persians, including the crown and the tiara. Byzantine costumes spread through the Balkans and Russia.